I grew up with those images. They were taken by my father, Muhammad Amin. He became one of the most relied upon news photojournalists covering Africa for over four decades. Camera Pics was started by my father in 1963. He had actually put mini pics on it and as he was walking to the uh, registrar's office, I think he realized the ambition is not very big to have a name of mini pics. So he crossed out the mini and added camera. And that was how the name came up. I think it was a spur of the moment decision, otherwise we would have been called mini pics. Camera pics ilikuwa tu kama ni mtu moja. Mohamed Amin alikuwa kama producer, alikuwa cameraman, alikuwa photographer, alikuwa accountant. Yeah, alikuwa ni kama kila kitu. He was at the Biafra war in Nigeria. He was there when Tanzania got independence. He was there when certain dignitaries visited Africa. He was where news was happening. Amin's most influential moment came in 1984 when his pictures of the Ethiopian famine changed the world. They prompted the greatest act of giving in the 20th century. More importantly, they saved the lives of over 3 million people. After 50 years, uh, we have had our very much our, our downs, where in the course of our business, we, we have lost a number of uh, people. Wakati tulikuta na masharia airport, ni kampatia kila kitu kule mogatishu, na ni kamuambia awe very careful. Masharia hakuketi sikutatu. Masharia liketi... And Mohammed and Brian eventually went. So, in all, we probably lost four or five people. You know, we lost the majority of the people I work with very closely are no longer with us. They've, uh, they've been killed. The biggest challenge we faced was proving to people that camera pics still existed without Mohammed Amin. His presence was so huge that people just assumed that when he died, the company died with him. For many years, we continually battled with people to prove that we could still deliver quality product the same way that he had. You cannot tell the story of Africa without telling the story of camera pics. The two are intertwined because Mohammed Amin was there on the ground. He always went the extra mile. Unfortunately, my father was best known for his images of famine and war and dictators and people that were not the nicest characters. Although that was not the continent that he loved or, or that, he, that he wanted to portray. I can be in any corner of Africa and the minute somebody asks you, which media company have you come from? When you say camera pics, they say, ah, Mohammed Amin. And you say, oh, okay, so he was, he was here. It's hard to believe, 50 years uh, camera pics has been going. I remember meeting uh, Mo Amin at the BBC, a very imposing figure with his, uh, his robotic arm and his very strong presence. Um, and it's hard to believe uh, how much Africa has changed in that time. And I, I really wish he was around to see uh, himself vindicated with his coverage of a, a fantastic continent. We have an opportunity to work with a lot of companies in different parts of the world. Camera Pix is one of the finest, and having been on location and worked with the crews in different parts of Kenya and Ethiopia, I can say that there's no finer team than Camera Pix, and we hope to work with them for another 50 years. Camera Pix, 50, you know, camera pics, 50 years, or as they say in Africa, 50 years. <laughs> <laughs>